Welcome back everybody. It is time for a new Crazy Bone video. Today we are going to be jumping back into series one, but not the series one that you're all very familiar with, the one we've been opening and trying to go for the master set of. We're talking Panini, we're talking Urban Toys. We're talking about these beautiful blue Crazy Bone packages. These are from overseas versions of series one, the non-United States version. I've been super excited to actually open these up. I've had these packs for a while and a few of you guys actually have been requesting. I open up the Urban Toys variant of the series one set. I couldn't be happier because there are some very, very cool go goes in here. Of course, we've got the series one characters that we all know and love, but in this set, they actually give us some different color variations. We've got like some lime greens. We've got like hot pinks. We've got orange, which looks absolutely amazing. In fact, I'm going to be going for a mosh orange in this one for sure. And probably like a lime green Haraku. That would be really cool to pull as well. One of the biggest differences with this set is they are not all painted. We've got a lot of the unpainted versions in here. They're just going to be the base fit figure. They've got the little engraved molds on the figures themselves. The molds look absolutely incredible. The typically like the painted ones are just like a base, but these actually have some ridges and indents and embossments and stuff like that on the figures. And it just makes them look really, really nice, even for them being not painted in just one base color. And it kind of gives off some classic vibes from the original series, honestly. Now there are paintings in the series, but they're less common. It's kind of like Mega Trip. You're gonna get a lot of unpainted, and then you might get a couple spotted here and there painted versions, which is fine by me. Cause again, I really like the unpainted in the Urban Toys one. I think they look fantastic. So make sure you leave a like on the video if you're excited for these. And if you wanna see more Crazy Bone content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Let's go jump into the packs. Boom, there we go. We've got the green Go-Go's logo, which I love that little green look, the Crazy Bone Urban Toys Edition. We've got the Panini logo right here on the top. You can't see it super well, but there it is. We've got a bunch of characters of Grace in the cover and all their different unique, different color tones. You can see we got like Fist in the pink and stuff. They got painted on here. They got the unpainted. They're telling you exactly as my voice cracks what you're going to get in this package. Also, the only unfortunate thing about this pack, I'll say, is they only have two Go-Go's in them, but that's why we're opening up a bunch today here. And then they also have sticker sheets, of course. There's the back for you. We've got some kind of sticker on here. What does this say? It's all in another language, I think. Oh, I can just take it right off. There we go. Forget where these are from. Panini, Mexico. Yeah, these are the Mexico ones, but again, also like Argentina and stuff like that. These came around in. You could get like translucence, I believe, and like the like the ice ones, and also I think glowies in different regions as well. But I believe we're only gonna find the painteds and unpainteds in here. So let's get it cracking. We'll start with this one. We might as well. Let's get our first pack open here. Bang. We'll get the sticker out. I love the stickers from the Urban Toys. They look so clean with that black border. We got Sato here, very sharp. We got fist. You've even got some nice little kind of designy type stickers. The fist one just looks fantastic. I mean, come on. The artwork looks great. They even give you a checklist with names, which I am totally on board with. That's fantastic. Now, everybody is named something different in here in this series, obviously, because we're in a different region, different language. So we got Borgo, Borgo here for B-Boy. We got Paco. We got Zip. Mara. Some of them, I think, are, you know, congruent with the names from the U.S. series. And other ones, I think, are just kind of completely different. Digo is this guy. Interesting. Supra. Huh. Interesting. Kava. Plasha. Either way, I'm a fan of the nice little checklist with the names. They got the little box you can check them off list and whatnot. It's really nice. It's really clean. Absolutely love the aesthetic and design choices they did with these guys. But now we will get into Go-Go's. What is our first Go-Go of the day? We've got that nice orange, very, very sharp, and it's a painted straight out of the gate, which is just fantastic. Fantastic. I mean, I'm not expecting to get a lot of the painteds, but that is a nice little first pull here. Starting off strong with the painted. That is perfect. What's our next one? We've got one of the blues. Here we go. Awashima here, I think is your name. Yeah, I believe so. But there you can see, you can see all the nice little details. They kind of set in the little molds and everything for all the eyes and eyebrows and whatnot. Whereas the painteds would just be flat. The actual, we'll compare if we pull this guy in an unpainted, we'll compare this guy because it'll be interesting to kind of showcase that. But 
I think the unpainteds look really clean in here. I want to say too that uh, there's not every single character from series one in here. I think it is a smaller set list. I want to say maybe there's only 60 instead of 80, but I got to get the hot pink mosh or the orange mosh. Orange for sure. I, oh, he just looks fantastic in an orange in my opinion. So definitely want to try to get that. Look at this, they kind of connect a little bit. Sato looking sweet as well. Stickers usually get pretty repetitive, but these stickers are just so nice and unique. I absolutely love it. Tremmy here, we got nice Tremmy in the unpainted purple, looking sharp as can be. And then we've got, let's see it, oh, Croc, very nice. And again, this is a little bit different hue, a little bit different purple. This is more of a maroony purple. It looks very cool, honestly. I like this purple a lot. The mold on this one's not fantastic. You can see kind of some like, you know, production lines and stuff on it a little bit, but that's okay. They can't all be perfect. I don't know if the other figure actually has this little kind of weird thing going on in the middle of the chest. That's interesting. Okay, next Panini Urban Toys pack. Let's get it. Here we go. We got the Speedster dude over here. We got the Music Lady. We've got our... What is this one's name again? I forget. Oh, we've got the other list here. What was the name of that one though? Plusha? Plusha is the name of this one in this region, but here's the big hitters of the list. There we go. This is one through 20, and this other one we got was 41 through 60. So yeah, I believe I was right. 60 figures all together in this. And we've got, let's see, what about Angiru? Aneg? We've got Papau. <laughs> That's funny. And then Mosh is named boogie 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 my voice keeps cracking boogaloo that's funny i kind of like the name boogaloo honestly maho pico it's interesting i kind of some of the names i kind of dig though let's pull this guy out what do we got we've got this dude i forget your name but that's okay he's got the little like drip of goo on his head or something or it's a tattoo i don't know but nice looking red nice looking red let's get it give me an orange oh my gosh we've got fist in the red a double red little pack that's nice i actually really dig fist here on this one he looks pretty sick absolutely love it oh man some of the nice like classic most wanted figures or wanted figures look really clean in the unpainted absolutely love that mosh 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 give me mosh let's get it oh this pack is not wanting to open up oh my goodness what's going on here with this thing all right we got stickers bada bing and what do we got on this one bada boom we got that sticker before we got 21 through 40 here for the checklist too interesting so what's haraku's name marini 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 and handy is fist which is uh that's a downgrade i think i think i prefer fist Handy's just a little bit uh, there's too many double entendres i can go along with that but boom look at you look at you love the eye just it pops out so nicely on these unpainted it's fantastic we got to get more orange i think like the light purple and the blue are ones that i don't want to see too often if i can help it but we did get another painted and it's our leaf wearing boy you can see the leaf really pronounced on this one which is hilarious a really weird kind of like off skin tone color for the face and then yeah the leaf is the same color it looked a little bit more yellow but not quite but that is pretty nice that's our second painted out of what four packs or something like that that's pretty good that's a pretty good ratio right now next up whoa this one just rocketed open holy crap we kind of revealed one of the figures we got a sato sticker oh we've got cho sticker in here too and our weird grinning alien man how intriguing but what's this green one Ooh, that is sharp it's kind of like a light green it looks a bit more saturated on the camera actually but it's definitely like a lighter green just in person but he looks really sharp with those flames on his face again that imprinted style just looks fantastic that is an excellent little figure i love the green what's our other one in here we've got oh this mother trucker looks awesome in that orange wow star really popping through is this name bigu or something right did we say bigu or was that was that b-boy oh man i'm already forgetting what they named these guys but that's okay this one looks excellent and again like i said give me the oranges actually uniquely huh just noticed that this is two different oranges two different versions of the orange in here okay let's go let's get another pack grinding these go-go's really want to come out this way but we're gonna shove them back in so we can get the stickers 
We got the fish sticker. We've got the Tremi sticker. All the reds there on that one. And our first go-go. Let's get them out here. Oh, we got, oh, we got, oh, oh, oh. In the dark, dark blue. That is like a really dark blue. Holy crap, look at that. Wow, that's really dark. Darker than our other ones, too. It's kind of more like that maroon one. And then we get, oh, for a second I thought that was Mosh. Oh, but it's not. It's this guy, which he looks really cool, too, especially in the unpainted. I have such a true appreciation for these unpainteds. It's so sweet. I would love to get even more packs than I already have of these urban toys just because I really dig these unpainteds. I've said that a lot. I know. I know. But it's okay. Gotta, gotta appreciate the things you get, you know? You got to. There we go. We got some new ones. We got the Rocket Ship Man. Forget your name. That's okay. We got this list. We've already gotten all the lists. All the lists are good. The checklists are done. Who do we got here? We got the underwear on the head boy, as my son would call it. He just says he's got underwear on his head or something like that, especially in the painted version. He also looks like a Smurf to me. He looks more like an alien in this unpainted, though, which is pretty funny. Huh, another kind of, like, off-color purple one, even, which is interesting. So many other unique... Oh, Ghost! Let's go! Look at that. Look at the skull coming off on him. He looks fantastic. We got another maroon. Maroony purple. He looks great. I love Ghost's look in this one, too. That is fantastic. Good pull. I wanted to get him. Well, let's get it going. We've got another pack here. What do we got? What do we got? We've got the pink music girl. Ooh, we've got Bee King over here, and we got the robot. Very nice. What is our first? Urban Toy Go-Go. Oh, it's a maroon of this bad boy, which we already got. But what do we get him in? Oh, we got him in the light green. That's right. But now we got him in the maroon. The maroon seems to be a pretty common color right now for us. But I dig it. He looks sweet. I like him in the, the green a little bit better, I would say. Oh, Haraku. Haraku, my main man. Or Marni or something like that in the other regions. But love the skulls. Love the imprints. We got him in a blue. We need to pull him in a more limey a neon green or something. But Haraku's my boy. He's one of my favorites from series one. So I'll take any ones I get, you know, I'm not going to get rid of them. We got another one. We're flying through pretty quickly, honestly, which is funny, man. But you know what? It, it does that when you've only got two per pack and Giru here, we've got Awashima dude or whatever. We've got uh, a B-ball or something. Is that your name? I forget. Pretty cool artwork for both these guys. And I'm not even a fan of these characters. Popus, I think is his name. I'm not a huge fan of these guys, but their artwork makes them look sweet. First go-go, who do we got? We've got Ghost again in a light purple. Very nice, very, very cool. That is fantastic looking, very sharper. You can see all the details a little bit more clearly than on that dark maroon. Oh, we've got an orange, it's Nucleus here. That is banger. Wow, he looks sick. You can actually have all those nice details of the mask popping out. That is really, really cool. I love that. Oh, that's so neat. I love the eyes. The eye sockets are actually going in. We've got the little radiation symbol looking amazing. And it's an amazing orange. Okay, you can see how we're stacking up against unpainted versus painted. I think we're due for a painted. Let's see if we can get it in this pack. The sticker is covering up the little kind of pull area, but we got it. We got it. We haven't gotten any like super crazy hot pinks, but there's a... Uh, our nice little wanted boy right there. Another really cool, very well-designed artwork sticker. Very neat. I would love to decorate some of my boxes with those stickers, that's for sure. We've got another maroon sitting in here of Karak, which is a complete repeat. Oh, we don't like to see that. We hate to see that. Another duplicate thing here? Ah, that's a bummer. We got one more, though. What's the last one? We got a purple of Tremi. Very, very nice. Okay, we already got him. That was a complete duplicate pack. There we go. We already had him. Huh. All right, bummer. No more duplicates. We've had our share of duplicates. We don't need any more, especially because this is two per pack. We, we don't want to see duplicates. We want to get a nice variety here. Ooh, Hazard looks great. Sun? Ooh, Sun in like... Oh, I don't know what colors he comes in, but he would look really good in a green... Yes, yeah, give me a green. Double checklist in this one, that's funny. Just a complete repeat. What's our first one in here, though? We've got this crazy dude. He's got some crazy details going on. Not a huge fan of his design, but of course, you know, the unpainteds help with that a little bit. Everything just looks a little bit cooler, honestly, with the unpainted versions. What's our last one in this pack? What do we got? He's hide. Oh, Sato! 
Let's go Sato. Very, very nice. We got him in the blue, just like the Haraku. Look at his fist. Look at his grin. All nice and textured. Very cool. Very, very nice. He's missing a little bit of detail out of his, like, you know, chest and pants area and feet. Uh, that's what the painted will come in and help solve. But even still, even with the minimal detail on the unpainted, Sato's a great looking character. Okay, here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. We've got, what do we got? We got, oh, with some vibrant artwork. Even these guys looking nice with like that kind of line work style. Ooh, look at this. A new, st look at, look at that. I mean, we're 15 packs in already and we're still getting like some new sticker artwork. That's fantastic. Give us some good luck here. What do we got? Oh, we got B King looking sick in that nice dark blue. His details really come out strong as well. And I love the horns on this guy. He's got a good figure, underappreciated in my opinion, underappreciated completely. And uh, I'm starting to appreciate him more. I'm gonna look back at the regular series one figure of B King and uh, just like him a little bit better, I think. But we got, is this Cody? Cody with the TV screen and the buttons are going inside the TV instead of popping out of the TV. So that's an interesting design choice. I wonder why they did that. Uh, definitely the button should be like popping out, right? But it's a nice a light purple. Light purple is definitely very common for us still. Okay, we've got two packs left from the Urban Toys edition of Series 1. Let's see if we can pull that Mosh. Mosh or Haraku in that nice coloring. Let's get it. I think I'm already spotting purple again. Oh boy. We got the little fish sticker. We got this sticker. I don't think we've seen that one yet. And what do we got inside the pack? Let's get the purple out of the way. We've got the little lockdown guy in the lockdown purple. That's kind of sick. I like him. He's a pretty basic figure though. You know, nothing too crazy. Every time I pull him, I think he looks like Cody or something. But we got one more. Let's see if we can pull off a banger from this one. We've got a painted. All right. All right. We get a painted. That's very good. Second to last pack. Get the painted out. Can we pull one more painted from the last pack? I don't know, but I'll take this as a win. That's great. Last pack, last chance for the mosh in the orange. Give it to me. Oh man, what do we got going on here? This pack is ripping wild. Okay, we've got a really interesting, again, new stickers. Danko or Daco or something like that. And we got B-Boy here. Once again, nice pink stickerage. I think we got this one, but it still looks clean. We can still appreciate it one more time. Who do we got? Another purple. We've got O oh, in the purple. Oh my gosh. What did we get? Oh, and we got him in a dark blue already. Um, but you know what? Oh, it's fine. He's fine. He's just okay. He's just all right. Our last go-go. Ba-bang. Ooh, Sato in the red. Very good. Very good. That is fantastic. All right. I prefer the red over the blue Sato any day of the week. So that is fantastic. He almost looks maroony. Yeah, he's like that off red. You can see here we've got Fist. Oh, he's even different than Fist. Oh my goodness. Is he closer to this one? Yeah, he's closer to this one, this kind of red. But holy crap, he has so many different variants of colors even between just set colors. We've got two different reds, two different purples, two different oranges. It seems like we're probably going to have two different greens. We definitely got two different blues. Huh. There's a look once again at all our cool little pulls of the day here. We've got all of them kind of color coded as you can kind of see and you can kind of see what we got most of what we got least of. Definitely the light blues and the light purples were the majority winners here today. But the true winners were definitely this light green for being the most uncommon one we've pulled so far along with the orange and the reds. Obviously we got three painteds which still look fantastic. Still all about these very nice on these painted dudes almost said unpainted but we got some good hits for the painteds i'm pretty happy overall and i'm digging these guys i can't wait to open more of these for sure go ahead and tell me in the comments which one was your favorite character we pulled today that's gonna do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this one i had a ton of fun with the urban toys guys they're so so cool and i can't wait to do more i do have more of these guys sitting in the back here too so if you want to see another video of the urban toys version of series one leave a comment down below and let me know enjoy the rest of your week we will catch you guys in the next video